The following is a presentation of UFF Sports and the Ultimate Fantasy Sports Network. Andy McNamara, head of football operations with UFF Sports. We're enjoying the beginning of the semifinal for the American Football Legends League matchup between the Ghosts and the Anvils. But I have a very special guest right here, and it is the founder of the Fantasy Football Expo in Canton, Ohio. My favorite state, God's country, Ohio. Bob Long on the line. Bob, how you doing? Doing great. Uh, Andy, thank you for having me. Uh, honored to be a part of this. Looking forward to meeting you and everybody from UFF at the Expo in August. So uh, really, really looking forward to that. I know we've chatted and seen each other online a lot, as many of us have, but we're all going to be live again in August, so we're looking forward to it. That, that's going to be great, yeah. Actually be in person, not virtual and all that. That'll be. And the, the color coordination was totally uh, not... Touchdown of the day creates huge momentum and makes the other team feel like they're working uphill. Number seven kicks it deep. If the offense can drive down the field and get some points here, I'd expect to see a big momentum shift in the game. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana signals out to adjust the route. Montana changes the play assignments. Montana changes the play assignments. Steps into the pocket. Heaves a pass. Tackled. That'll be enough for the first down. Giving up those yards so quickly. Even the mascot looks frustrated with the defensive. Just the assignments for one of the players. Montana. They're changing things up at the line. Montana. Adjust the assignments for one of the players. Hey, everybody. Andy McNamara, head of football operations with UFF Sports. We're enjoying the beginning of the semifinal for the American Football Legends League matchup between the Ghosts and the Anvils. But I have a very 
special guest right here, and it is the founder of the Fantasy Football Expo in Canton, Ohio, my favorite state, God's country, Ohio. Bob Long on the line. Bob, how you doing? Doing great, uh, Andy. Thank you for having me. Uh, honored to be a part of this. Looking forward to meeting you and everybody from UFF at the Expo in August. So uh, really, really looking forward to that. I know we've chatted and seen each other online a lot, as many of us have, but we're all going to be live again in August, so we're looking forward to it. That, that's going to be great, yeah. Actually be in person, not virtual and all that. That'll be, and the, the, the color coordination was totally uh, not planned. Yeah. It really was random. <laughs> We're quite, quite right. You got cool. the cooler shirt, though. Yeah, you, you got the cooler Pro Football Hall of Fame shirt on there. But, yeah, uh, it's my right. official uh, wearing it uh, for uh, Hall of Fame when I drive for Hall of Fame weekend. So. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, you know what? Before we get to the actual event, uh, I, let's talk about this current upcoming NFL season because, of course, in UFF Sports, we're enjoying the Legends League right now. But before you can be a legend, you got to be a current NFL player. That's with our ultimate uh, Fantasy American Football League, UFAFL. So let's chat a little bit about this current upcoming season because, Bob, it's going to be a very interesting year, I feel, at the quarterback position because you got guys like Ben Roethlisberger who are gone, Matt Ryan changing locations, the, the, the rookie crop not super exciting from a fantasy point of view. Where are you at when we're looking at QBs for this year in fantasy? Well, I've always been, when it comes from a fantasy standpoint, I've always been kind of one of the uh, go with the older school veterans in a later round than, you know, uh, we all know Josh Allen's great. We know Justin Herbert's great. But the question is, do you want to pick them in the second or third round? And I, I'm usually against that. So this year, uh, I'm definitely kind of in on guys like Matthew Stafford. Um, Derek Carr is my backup. Maybe you can draft both of them in round 10, 11, and see what happens. We know that AFC West is just going to be a fireworks show every time the, those two, any of those two teams play each other. So that's where I think Carr comes into play, and now he's added his best buddy, Devontae Adams. Uh, and like I said, then Matthew Stafford last year was fifth in uh, points and fifth in consistency, uh, which is what I always look at. And, again, I can draft him in the 10th round, and I can load up on receivers, tight ends, and running backs kind of hard to pass up so you know I, I kind of stay away from the shiny new toys but and I'll go with guys that uh, I know have proven that they can be consistent and year after year and those guys are people like Stafford and Rogers and Carr and, and some of those folks well I, I'm with you on the Matthew Stafford that was going to be a name I brought up I went that route last year uh, for pretty much the reasons that you said now you're not getting, of course, the leg value, the yardage of, you know, the, right. the, as you said, the toys. I like that, the, the, the flashier toys. But you do get consistent. I love the Derek Carr take because, really, Bob, if Carr, if you look at Carr from his passing yard standpoint and then you compare it to his passing touchdown, grossly mismatched. Mm -hmm. With that new weapon in that division where you've got a ball out or you're going to be punished, if you can add five, six, seven, eight more touchdowns to Derek Carr. We're talking about a guy that can immediately, with his passing yards before adding Devontae Adams, leap up into that mm -hmm. bottom part of, of the top 12 fantasy QB. Absolutely. No, that, and that's a great analogy. I couldn't say it better myself. Uh, well done. Yeah, I really like that scenario. Like I said, Josh Jacobs is playing for a contract this year, so you know he's going to be motivated coming out of the backfield. They've kind of given up on um, – Gosh, I just went brain dead. Who was in the bat? Uh, Kenyon, uh, Kenyon Drake, Drake, who they signed last yeah. year. They've kind of given up on him. So Jacobs is going to be playing for the big money, whether it's in uh, Las Vegas or it's somewhere else. And you, again, you, Darren Waller stays healthy. There's another weapon. Hunter Renfro, uh, Hunter Renfro last year looked very good uh, as kind of the only guy. But now I think he'll be even more wide open because people are going to be so worried about Waller on one side and Adams on the other. And Renfro can still maybe – pop off you know, 75, 80 catches and be a nice wide receiver three for your team as well. Uh, Hunter Renfro was one of my top uh, sleeper pickups during the year, waiver wire pickups. Nice. Um, from a PPR perspective, Bob, like the guy was an absolute dream. The guy was an oh, yeah. You know, it was standard, not so much, but PPR, absolutely wonderful. I wonder, too, and it'll be interesting to see as drafts start to come up, where Russell Wilson goes in fantasy drafts. Because you talk about that loaded AFC West. Well, Russell Wilson's the new kid in town there. We've seen him sort of be taken for granted. He's been so good and consistent for so long. 
that he kind of flies under the radar. If he's healthy, and last year he had that weird finger. That's not nothing like a knee or anything yeah. like that. But you get Russell Wilson in with that stacked wide receiver group. I wonder where he's going to go, and I want to know where what you think about a Russell Wilson pickup out in your team, and maybe if you can get him at a value at some point. Well, the only thing I have to say about Russell Wilson is, did he really improve his situation? Because he had DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. You're right. Corlin Sutton and Jerry Judy are good. I'm not even sure they're at that level. The funny thing was, he said he went to Denver because he wanted to throw more, and yet Denver's one of the more run-focused teams outside of Seattle. So I guess they'll let him do it because they made the big trade for him. But then what does that do to Javante Williams and Melvin Gordon? Because they right. ran the ball a lot last year with Drew Lockett at quarterback. So it's an interesting situation. I, I'll be honest with you, I'm going to stay away from Russell Wilson because I'm a little worried about that situation. Um, the, you know, point. I think Metcalf and Lockett were just as good, if not better, than Sutton and Judy. And Judy's had his troubles off off the field. Um, are they good? Are they talented? Yeah, we, we never have seen it because they've never had a real quarterback. So I, I think there's, I, I think he be, can be as good as he's been. I'm not sure he's going to be better. I wouldn't mind maybe taking a flyer later on at Tim Patrick as well on that Denver team. Love Tim he, Patrick. He, Definitely all over he, with that one. Definitely behind he played, that one. He played well. Um, but yeah, that, that whole division is going to be absolutely loaded and, and, and all that. So that's tremendous. And the wide receiver group, we talked about movement at the quarterback spot. Yeah, Devontae Adams going to, uh, going to the Raiders. I'll tell you this. Bob, and I, I want to say, I, I, maybe it's too bold, but I'm going to stand by it, damn it. Christian Watson, I was said it before the draft. I said if that guy goes to a decent situation and is drafted in the right spot, that dude is going to be an absolute superstar. And I think Christian Watson in Green Bay with no Devontae Adams is going to be the fantasy leader when it comes to rookie wide receivers. And personally, I don't think it's going to be particularly close. I love that guy in that situation uh, with Green Bay because, look, you take Adams away, we know – Aaron Rodgers is fine saying, I'm going to throw it to, to receiver X all the time, and you're not going to be able to stop me. I, I hope that's what happened to Christian Watson. Yeah, no, and, and, you know, the only thing is Aaron Rodgers certainly loves his 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 veterans. Um, I yeah. think Lazard is, is going to be his first choice, but I totally agree with you. Watson certainly had lots of potential in that offense because other than Lazard, what do you got? I mean, an old Randall Cobb. Robert Tanyan, who was very good two years ago, but he's coming back from ACL. Um, I think he'll get his targets fed a tight end position. But yeah, how could Christian Watson not do well there? Um, I'm not sure he's going to put up Devontae Adams' numbers, but he's certainly going to be right. very valuable. Like you said, probably will be one of the top rookie wide receivers from a fantasy standpoint. Definitely agree with you on that one. You mentioned Robert Tanyan, and... Two years ago, now he got hurt, like you said, but two years ago, his, and I can't remember the percentages off the top of my head, but his touchdown to catch, they were obscene. No way you could maintain right. them. It was like 40 catches and 15 touchdowns, something ridiculous. Yeah. So let's talk about tight ends here when it comes to fantasy. And this, Bob, I would say it got harder to pick, not easier, because Travis Kelsey, I think it's safe to say he's not going to get any better um, he might not severely decline, but you can sort of – I think we might have reached the tip of Travis Kelsey. Now we're going to start mm -hmm. to see it. Where are you at with the tight end strategy when it comes to drafting, looking? Because it seems like, look, if you don't get one of the top two, three guys, you are going to be waiver wire chasing for a lot of the year. Well, and this is where the consistency model really comes into play for people, and it can be very beneficial if you can get the guide uh, on Amazon – because what I showed this year was last year was actually one of the deepest years for the consistency of tight ends. Last year was actually 10 different receivers that were over 65%. Two years ago, there was only four. So there's more consistency. There's more depth and consistency. So guys that I'm targeting this year, kind of like at the quarterback position, Tyler Higby, 73% consistent last year. Nobody, he's right now tight end 22 in ADPs. Uh, Zach Ertz. Dallas Goddard, uh, these guys are going in the rounds like 8 to 10, um, and I like them at that value. Again, kind of like the quarterbacks. I might pick two of them back-to-back. -back. I mean, I could easily go rounds 8, 9, 10, 11 and go tight end, tight end, quarterback, quarterback, <laughs> or <laughs> some mix up with that. Because by then, if I can get two guys that I can rely on, 
And if one doesn't do great and the other one does great, if they both do well, that's super. I mean, that's we all want we all want depth. Uh, that's a good problem to have. So I'm kind of in that realm. I'm I'm probably not going to get Kelsey in the second or Mark Andrews in the third or even Waller in the fifth. Um, they all are great, but man, you just give up so much at the other positions. And I think if I can get that 70% consistency out of a Higby or Ertz, and you know, still maybe you're 30, 40 points behind the top guys, but over 18, 17 games, what is that? Two points a week? Is it really going to hurt me when I can right. draft the other guys in much higher, you know, uh, get the guys I really need, uh, stud tight end or stud wide receivers and running back. So that's kind of my approach uh, for tight ends and has been for quite a few years now, kind of always stay away from the big boys. I get it. I, and I know why people do it, but I always feel like I, I just hate to pass up on a, on a stud running back or wide receiver to take Kelsey. It's paid off the last couple of years, but like you said, he kind of fell back to earth this year. And I yeah. think with the uh, high rate kill not being in the mix anymore, that, that, that's going to make a little bit troublesome. There's going to be teams kind of double teaming him now um, and letting Juju's and MVS's and Cole Hardman's of the world beat him. Big difference. 100%. 100%. I uh, I don't do not like fantasy-wise that wide receiver mix in Kansas City uh, at all. We could do, talk about this all day, Bob, but let's talk about the Fantasy Expo coming August 12th and 14th in beautiful Canton, Ohio, home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. But the Fantasy right. Football Expo, I'm going to be down there. My UFF sports counterpart, Show Ali, is going to be down there. We're going to have a whole bunch of us down uh, with the booth. Cool. Big names, too. Trophy Smack, our, our friends who are uh, owned yeah. by Mark Cuban or Shark Tank. The foot Fantasy Football is – tell us a bit about what people can expect August 12th and 14th in Canton at the Fantasy Football Expo. I mean, it's everything you've always wanted out of a Fantasy Football weekend. Uh, lots of parties, lots of, uh, you know, adult beverages, but also lots of fantasy stuff. I mean, all the best of the best will be there. As you mentioned, uh, NBC Sports is our title sponsor. Uh, you guys will be there, uh, footballguys.com. Fantasy Points is sponsoring the Friday night party. Uh, there's just so many. I mean, and then all the big names, you know, the Bob Harris's, uh, Andy Barron's, Dave Richards from CBS. Uh, Michael Fabiano from Sports Illustrated, Brad Evans, Jeff Radcliffe, Mike Clay from ESPN. I mean, outside of Matthew Barry, which he'd love to be there, but you know, he know he can't, so we get Mike Clay, which is perfectly fine. Um, you know, basically all the big boys are there, and that's what's great. Now all of us, I always call us the RB twos, can hang with the RB ones, and and we can, you know, learn from them, and and the camaraderie, the networking is just fantastic. It's just a, a fun time, uh, and you know everybody gets to kind of learn from each other. I always say well, we're all we're all customers of each other. You know, people are some people said, well, you know, we have a lot of the analysts there, and so we're really not you know promoting our wares to fans. And I'm like, I've been a subscriber of FootballGuys.com for 20 years. I mean, I'm a huge fan of theirs, and I subscribe for their knowledge um, because we all have that special knowledge. I mean, I talk about consistency and. Somebody else may talk about their IDP world or Devi or Dynasty or whatever. I mean, we're all learning from each other. We all love playing different genres and sports betting and, you know, prop betting and that kind of stuff. There's so much to learn, uh, but there's also so much fun to have. We're going to have a cornhole tournament. We're going to have a flag football tournament. We're going to have a quarterback skills challenge at the Saturday night party so you can get your arm loose so that you can throw okay. targets. Just massive amounts of fun, and it's seventy-five dollars for the ticket for the whole week. Uh, that's, that's all. All the parties from Friday night, Saturday night, the drafts. Uh, you can come to. There's a. You get a ticket to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, uh, so you can tour the hall that weekend. And and entrance in the expo, you get a T-shirt, wristbands, um, swag bag full of like three to five hundred dollars worth of coupons. So it's really no reason not to come. It's pretty much what it comes down. To. That's uh, that's incredible. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the. Uh, I, I forgot about because you mentioned that before. I forgot about the warm up that arm. Get get ready to throw yeah, my yeah. Uh, my shoulder out. First pass. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try to make like 10, 20, 30 yards. Or we're not gonna try to throw any like 70 yard bombs in this thing. That's right. That, that that's gonna be amazing. Where do people go? Where, tell us the website. Oh so, yeah, so go to the fantasyfootballexpo.com. You can get your tickets there. Uh, like I said, get the uh, weekend package. Uh, come Friday, Friday, and stay the whole weekend. Uh, there's lots of uh, hotels links that have discounts. 
and everything in Canton is 10 minutes away. So don't have to worry about if I stay at this hotel, that hotel. Everything's 10 minutes away. It's Canton, Ohio. It's, it's a pretty small town. And I just come and enjoy. Um, like I said, it's just a lot of fun. You're going to meet lots of people that you've probably met online through Twitter or you follow like UFF or, you know, whoever your favorite sites are, your favorite analyst experts. Uh, we're going to have live mock drafts, all kinds of panel discussions at the expo itself. 50 different vendors will have a booth. Uh, so it's, again, hard not to not to pass up on that. Uh, so get your $75 ticket. Oh, by the way, if you uh, buy the $75 ticket, you get an entry into winning possibly a $2,000 entry into the million-dollar FFPC competition uh, that they hold. And so you you could literally spend $75 and end up winning a million. So give it a shot. That's not <laughs> – that's pretty good. That's yeah. pretty good. Well, at, deal. At, our UF, at our UFS sports booth, we're also going to be uh, showcasing the new the, the Access football game, the new 2023 edition that is going to be coming out around that August time. So we're going to have a little display for that. So that's going to be a ton of fun. Listen, Bob, this has been great. Cannot wait to see you in person. Yeah, and everybody too. watching, I hope we get to see all of you August 12th to 14th. So check it out at the uh, www.thefantasyfootballexpo.com. Thanks, man. Good, good seeing you. Absolutely. Good seeing you, Bob. That's Bob Long. I'm Andy Mattner. Back to the game. Adjust the assignments for one of the players. Zedraya drops back. He muscles one into the end zone on the left side. The receiver can't bring it in. Second and goal for the home team. Zedraya signals out to adjust the route. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Uh -huh. Graham, looking to pass, tosses the ball. He can't bring it in. Third and goal. Graham signals out to adjust the route. They're changing things up at the line. Shifting their defensive line. Hot six. The quarterback six. sees something in the defense. Check 17. Graham 17. signals out to adjust the route. Nebraska. They're changing Nebraska. things up at the line. Hike. And in he goes down. Sacked back at the 18-yard line. Number seven kicks it up. It's good. He converts from 35 yards out. The home team extends their lead 31 7. The away team needs to respond to that score quickly to get the momentum going on their side. So much of football is mental. The offense needs to get a score in this drive to build some confidence if they want any shot of coming back in this game. Check north. They're north. changing things up at the line. Check. Check. The quarterback sees something Omaha. in the defense. Omaha. Montana changes the play assignments. He breaks the tackle. He can't make the catch. Second down for the away team. Omaha. Montana Omaha. adjusts the assignments for Check one of the 17. players. 17. Montana. Check. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Yeah. Montana. Back to back. Who's ball on the field? Third down. Third and long. Check. They're changing things up at the line. They're changing things up at the line. The quarterback sees something in the defense. 
Montana changes the play assignments. Nebraska. Montana Nebraska. changes the play assignments. Here comes the rush. That brings up fourth down. The quarterback did a nice job not trying to do too much there. You don't want to turn it over and put extra pressure on your defense. The punt's away. Number 26 takes the punt. The defense has their backs to the wall here. Look for some aggressive blitz packages and tight coverage. They're changing things up at the line. They're changing things up at the line. They're changing things up at the line. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Graham signals out to adjust the route. The away team sends men on the blitz. Incomplete pass. Second down. Check. Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Graham signals out to adjust the route. He drops back to pass. There is a flag on the play. Well, we'll see if that holds up after the penalty. The away team takes the penalty. So many penalties are just mental mistakes. Second down and long. They're changing things up at the line. Graham signals out to adjust the route. Graham signals out to adjust the route. Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. They're changing things up at the line. And it's intercepted by number 28. Dave, he's been staring down that receiver all day, and the secondary is just keying on it. He wanted a big play, but he gave one up instead. It will be interesting to see if the offense can do anything on this drive following that turnover. Montana signals out to adjust the route. Montana back to pass. Number 12 pulls it in. Second down. Second down. Hot shot. They're changing Eight. things up at the line. They're changing things up Omaha. at the line. Omaha. The quarterback Check. sees something in the defense. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Hike. The home team. He drops the ball. The runner has to do a better job of anticipating contact and covering the ball so it doesn't get knocked loose like that. The home team has a chance to pick up some free points here after that turnover. Graham changes the play assignments. Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Check. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Graham adjusts the assignments for one loose ball on the field. Dodging the defender. Graham got his hands in there and knocked it loose. The away team will be looking to turn that turnover into some points here. Montana. Montana signals out to adjust the route. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Go! Blitz coming on from the defense. That gets us to second down. A single back set for the away team. They're changing things up at the line. 
They're changing things up at the line. Montana. Montana changes the play assignments. Mississippi. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Incomplete. The away team with two backs in the backfield. Check north. The quarterback north. sees something Check in the west. defense. West. Montana. Check Montana. Check. Montana. Check. Montana. Check. Montana. Check. Montana. Check. Signals out to adjust the route. There is a flag on the play. Tackle made. Well, we'll see if that holds up after the penalty. The home team accepts the penalty. We had seen the defender talking to the ref a few plays ago. It seemed like it just paid off with the call. Montana changes the play assignments. Montana signals out to adjust the route. Montana signals out to adjust the route. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Fires a rocket. And it's off. Sometimes you have to have that gunslinger mentality and take a shot to keep the defense on their toes. It didn't work out that time, but it will still let the D know that this QB isn't afraid to test them deep. Check. The West. quarterback sees West. something in the defense. Check. Montana adjusts Check. the assignments Nebraska. for one of the players. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. That time just didn't pay off for the offense. Check. The West. quarterback sees Check. something in the defense. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Mississippi. Mississippi. They're changing things up at the line. Mississippi. Mississippi. Graham signals out to adjust the route. Tonight. Graham looking to pass. Second down. Omaha. Graham changes Omaha. the play Six. assignments. Six. They're changing things up at the line. Tapping back. Here comes the blitz. <laughs> Pulls it in. Check. They're changing things Check. up at the line. West. West. Graham changes the play assignments. Eagle. Eagle. They're changing things up at the line. Six. The quarterback Six. sees something in the defense. That will bring up first down. Receiver gets up with a big first down motion. Pretty sure the defense have seen enough of that already. Check. The quarterback Check. sees something in the defense. They're changing things up at the line. Graham changes the play assignments. They're changing things up at the line. Graham drops back. Airs one up deep over the middle. And it's off. Second down. Fire. Calling out some signals on the field. Graham signals out to adjust Check the route. West. Graham West. changes the play assignments. The defensive line adjusts their position. Fires well. The pass is intercepted by number 47. And he stopped. Graham did a fantastic.
fantastic job of reading the quarterback's eye and jumping on that route. As an offense, the best way to show appreciation to the defense for forcing a turnover is to go drive down the field and turn it into a score. Nebraska, Montana, Nebraska. singles out to adjust the route. Montana changes the play assignments. The D-line adjusts their position. Go! Check. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. The ball falls to the ground, incomplete. Montana changes the play assignments. Montana changes the play assignments. They're changing things up at the line. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. He steps into the pocket. He makes the screen pass near the middle of the field. And he can't reel it in. Montana, Nebraska, Montana, Nebraska. adjust the assignments for Fire. one of the players. Montana, Montana, signals out to adjust the roof. Here comes the blitz. And he misses his mark. <laughs> Number two, punts it away. The return man takes the punt, and he's brought down after a return of 24. The home team should focus on time of possession here. Keep the ball away from the other team, drag this game out. Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Graham adjust the assignments for one of the players. They're changing things up at the line. Steps into the pocket. Throws a fastball along the sideline. That gets us to second down. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Graham signals out to adjust the route. Rockets will pass intercepted by number 21. The receiver was in the right place at the right time for that interception. As an offense, the best way to show appreciation to the defense for forcing a turnover is to go drive down the field and turn it into a score. Mississippi. Montana Mississippi. changes the play assignments. Six. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Check. No. Montana no. adjusts the assignments go. for one of the players. This is a pass near the line of scrimmage over the sideline. And they can't connect. Incomplete. Second down. Check Montana changes the play assignments. Montana. Montana changes the play assignments. Montana dropping back. And it's intercepted. We heard it often that quarterbacks need to have a short-term memory when it comes to mistakes. That's so true. He needs to move past this interception and put it out of his mind. The defense has a chance to come up big. If they can force a punt after that turnover, it'll give the entire team a boost of confidence. Nebraska. Graham signals out to adjust the route. Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Incomplete. Well, Dave, 
Stickum isn't legal anymore, so this receiver has to maintain focus, or he's going to be getting plenty of splinters from the bench soon. They're changing things up at the line. Reyes adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Reyes changes the play assignments. He steps back to pass. Caught by number 80. That will move the chains. Now, when you want to get the ball into your receiver's hands quickly, that's the kind of throw you want from your quarterback. First and goal. The away team calls the first timeout. First and goal for the home team. The D-line slides over. The kick is up. It's good. The home team widens their lead. 38-7. You give up more points here, and you almost don't want to walk back to the sidelines to hear it from the coaches. The away team has a great opportunity here to build some momentum and eat away at that lead they're facing. They're changing things up at the line. Check. Montana. Check. Check. Montana. Hot. Short. They're changing Short. things up at the line. Tonight. And he goes down. Set down at the 15 yard line. Hot six. Montana six. changes Nebraska. the play assignment. Hot. Short. They're changing things up at the line. They're changing things up at the line. Montana. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. He shakes off the tackle. The ball falls to the ground. Incomplete. Third and long. Montana changes the play assignments. The quarterback sees something in the defense. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Hike. Passes the ball to the sideline. The pass falls harmlessly to the ground. Sometimes you have to have that gunslinger mentality and take a shot to keep the defense on their toes. It didn't work out that time, but it will still let the D know that this QB isn't afraid to test them deep. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana, North. Montana, North. adjust the assignments for one of the players. Huh. He throws the screen to the sideline. Incomplete pass. After a failed attempt like that, you tend to second-guess yourself as a coach. Should we have kicked there? That decision may haunt them for a while. The quarterback Nebraska. sees something in the defense. The D-line adjusts their position. The quarterback sees something in the defense. He can't bring it in. Back when I was playing, if a receiver dropped a pass, he'd run a mile. If we see him running up and down the sideline, we'll know why. Coming out of the gun... The quarterback Check. sees something in the defense. Graham changes the play assignments. Graham changes the play assignments. It looks like the QB saw something on the defensive side that warranted a change in the play call. Graham, they're changing things up at the line. The away team adjusts their linebackers. Graham steps back into the pocket, throws a fastball. He makes the catch in the end zone for the touchdown. 
That's a play they won't mind seeing over and over in film this week. It's up. It's good. The home team extends their lead 45 7. Don't let the score fool you, fans. This has been a very physical game, and it's really taken its toll. Number seven sends this one into the end zone. Overall today, they've been outperformed on offense. It's time for them to buckle down and get things moving if they want any chance of turning things around. He gets a fumble. He breaks a tackle. Well, we'll see if that holds up after the penalty. The away team takes the penalty. Traditional wisdom puts the blame for penalties on the coaches. The away team will operate from the gun. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana signals out to adjust the route. That gets us to third down. Let's see what the call is on third down. Montana. Montana changes the play assignments. They're changing things up at the line. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana changes the play assignments. He steps back to pass. Puts his arm into this one up the middle. Fourth down. As a coach, you always want a quarterback to be able to zip it into tight windows like that to put pressure on the defense. Montana, Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana signals out to adjust the route. The secondary shifts back. The defense is coming out of blitz. The pass is intercepted. I bet the quarterback wishes he could have that one back. The away team comes up short on fourth down. The home team will be looking to turn that turnover into some points here. The defensive backs adjust their coverage back. Graham, Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Graham changes the play assignments. Here comes the blitz. The receiver can't bring it in. Graham from the gun. Graham changes the play assignments. Graham signals out to adjust the route. Six, six. Graham changes the play assignments. Graham changes the play assignments. The away team on the rush. Pulled in by number 80. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. Talk about rifling a pass in there, Dave. Next week, I'm bringing him duck hunting with me. I can save money on bullets with this guy. The quarterback sees this something in the defense. They're changing things up at the line. Check. Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. He drops back. Finds a target to the center of the end zone. The ball falls to the ground. Incomplete.
Lining up on second down. Check. Graham Check. changes Check. the play Check. assignments. Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Mississippi. They're Mississippi. changing things up at the line. The away team shifts into deep coverage. back curls a pass to the end zone and he misses his mark a crucial third down for the offense Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Nebraska. They're Nebraska. changing things up at the line. Check West. Graham West. adjusts the assignments for one of the players. The secondary shifts back. He steps back to pass, sets his feet and throws. He can't bring it in. The offense lines up for the field goal. Here's the kick. And he's good from 38 yards out. The home team adds another score, 48-7. The away team needs to get their act together, or this game might slip out of their reach. The away team has a great opportunity here to build some momentum and eat away at that lead they're facing. They'll start things off from the 25. The D-line adjusts Check. their position. Check. They're changing Nebraska. things up at the line. They're changing things up at the line. The defense on the rush. He can't bring it in. That marks the end of the first quarter. The home team with the lead so far. 48-7. Second down for the away team. They're changing things up at the line. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana changes the play assignments. He drops back. He fires a pass near the sideline. When we talked to the coaches this week, they brought up that he nearly got drafted into Texas baseball. With that arm, we see exactly why. Montana changes the play assignments. Check. The quarterback North. sees something in the defense. Check. Montana. West. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana changes the play assignments. And they can't connect. Incomplete. The offense looks like they're going for it here on fourth down. The home team will call timeout. Check 32. Montana 32. changes the play assignments. Check. The West. quarterback sees Check something 17. in the defense. 17. Montana. Montana 32. signals out to adjust the route. Hot, short, They're changing short. things up at the line. Did Montana, I? back to pass, fires one. And he misses his mark. Going for it on fourth down is always risky. That time just didn't pay off for the offense. The home team looking to get things going from the 30-yard line.
This is Graham. This changes the play assignment. Graham, adjust the assignments for one of the players. North. Graham. Eagle. Graham signals to change Check. the play. Check. Graham signals out to adjust a route. Graham signals out to adjust a route. There is a flag on the play. The away team will accept the penalty. This one is on the quarterback. He's got to hurry things along. The offense comes out with two backs. Graham changes the play assignments. Graham signals out to adjust the route. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Launches a pass to the sideline deep downfield. The offense is giving the chain gain a workout down there. They were barely set before needing the move. First and goal for the home team. Check. Graham signals Check. out to adjust the route. Graham changes the play assignments. They're changing things up at the line. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Hold back to pass. Fires run. And it's caught for a touchdown. When close to the end zone like that, the quarterback has to be precise with his passes and has to make smart decisions. Nice, accurate throw right. there for six. It's good. The home team extends their lead, 55-7. We're now looking at a two-possession lead for the home team. Number seven sends this one deep. It needs to be go time for the offense. They need to stop messing around. Tighten up your chin strap and get Check ready seven. to drive the ball down Check. the field. The quarterback sees something in the defense. The quarterback sees something in the defense. He steps into the pocket, zings it to the sideline, and he misses his mark. Second down. They're changing things up at the line. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Sets his feet and throws up beyond the first down. When the pass has to get there in a hurry, the bullet is the QB's best weapon. Nice throw on the play. Run down almost immediately by Marshall. That brings up second down. Second down for the away team. Montana, Montana changes the play assignments. They're changing things up at the line. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Breaking free. He can't make the catch. A crucial third down for the offense. They're changing things up at the line. Eagle. The quarterback sees something Eagle. in the defense. Eagle. Montana adjusts the assignments Eagle. for one of the players. Fires a rocket short in the middle of the field. Incomplete. Fourth down. Check. Montana. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana signals out to adjust the route. Montana changes the play assignments. He drops back. Throws a fastball. They are just on 
unable to make it happen there on fourth down. The home team should focus on time of possession here. Keep the ball away from the other team. Drag this game out. The home team begins the drive from the 43-yard line. Check They're changing West. things up at the line. They're changing things up Check at the line. West. Graham, adjust the assignments for one of the players. Hey. Dropping back the away team on the rush. Incomplete. Graham, Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Graham changes the play assignments. The ball is loose. And he's brought down at the 49-yard line. Washington got his hands in there and knocked it loose. The offense will be looking to turn that turnover into points on this drive. The line shifts over. <laughs> Number 23 on the run. That will bring up second down. Second down and long. Montana. They're changing things up at the line. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana signals out to adjust the route. Stop. That brings up a crucial third down. We see the ref checking the ball after that. Officially, he's looking at air pressure, but personally, I think he's looking for burn marks. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Mississippi. Montana Mississippi. signals Check. out to adjust Check. the route. Montana. Check. Montana signals out to adjust the route. Go. Montana steps back into the pocket. Johnson makes the reception. That'll be enough for the first down. That play there is one of the ones that makes the haters in the stands say, okay, maybe I couldn't make that throw. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. They're changing things up at the line. He sheds off the ball's on the ground. Second down. The away team with two backs in the backfield. Montana. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana. They're changing things up at the line. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players, zings it down in the middle of the field. That gets us to third down. Montana will operate from the gun. The quarterback sees something in the defense. The quarterback sees something in the defense. They're changing things up at the line. Montana changes the play assignments. Montana, back to pass, ball, and he goes down, set down at the 50, fourth down. On third down, the temptation to push the ball down the field is greater, but this quarterback did the right thing by taking what the defense gave him. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana, the quarterback sees something in the defense. They're changing things up at the line. They're changing things up at the line. Here comes the black. He fumbles the ball. He's sacked again. This one will be for a loss of 10. Let's see how the penalty affects things. The home team will decline the penalty. Fourth down stops like that can really change the momentum in a game. It's basically like forcing a turnover.
The quarterback sees something in the defense. Rayo dropping back. Good enough for a first down. The D line adjusts their position. The quarterback sees something in the defense. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Check. Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Graham signals out to adjust the route. Graham signals out to adjust the route. Steps into the pocket. Fires a line. Tackle made. Second down. Second and short. The line shifts over. This is They're changing this things up at the line. Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Check. Graham signals Check. out to adjust a route. This is it. This They're is changing it. things up at the line. Check. They're changing things off the line. Blitz coming on from the defense. Incomplete. Shifting their defensive line. Graham. They're changing things up at the line. Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. The quarterback seems to be changing the play at the line. They're changing things up at the line. They're changing things up at the line. He drops back. Puts his arm into this one. And that's enough for a first down. That ball was really slung in there, Dave. The receiver did a great job holding on to it for the catch. Hot shot. This is it. The this quarterback is it. sees something in the defense. Check. Leia. Check. The Check. quarterback sees something in the defense. Drops back into the pocket. Puts his arm into this one. Stop. That brings up second down. the handoff to number 37 and he steps in for six touchdown simple x's and o's and in this case the offense just found a weakness in the d and got rewarded with six points and it's good the home team widens their lead 62 7 we're now looking at a two position lead for the home team The kicker kicks a deep one into the end zone. The away team needs to get something going on this drive. They're changing things up at the line. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana changes the play assignments. Montana looking to pass, uncorks this one, and he misses his mark. Second play of the drive. Mississippi. The quarterback sees something in the defense. The quarterback sees something in the defense. He drops back, makes a hard throw. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. Let's see what they do on first down. 
Montana singles out to adjust the route. They're changing things up at the line. They're changing things up at the line. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Fires a ruck out to the sideline. Coming out in a three receiver set. Montana singles out to adjust the route. Montana changes the play assignments. The defensive back shift into deep covering. He steps back to pass. The ball falls to the ground, incomplete. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana changes the play assignments. The home team backs their secondary up. He rockets a pack to the sideline. That brings up fourth down. They're changing things up at the line. They're changing things up at the line. The linebackers adjust their positions. Montana looking to pass. A flag on the play. The runner steps out of bounds. Let's see what the call on the field is. The home team will accept the penalty. Most holding penalties are the result of poor positioning by the blocker, where they use their hands to compensate for being out of position. Montana signals out to adjust the route. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana changes the play assignments. The home team sends men on the blitz. The away team comes up short on fourth down. The away team could really use a big play here on defense. Something to spark a comeback. They're changing things up at the line. Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. He drops back to pass. And they can't connect. Incomplete. They're changing Check. things up at the Check. line. Graham changes the play assignments. Fire. Fire. They're changing things up at the line. Uh, Graham steps back into the pocket. Incomplete pass. Graham, Graham changes the play assignments. Hike. Heaves a pass. And they can't connect. Incomplete. Sometimes you have to have that gunslinger mentality and take a shot to keep the defense on their toes. It didn't work out that time, but it will still let the D know that this QB isn't afraid to test them deep. And it barely squeezes in there. That's good from 55 yards out. The home team widens their lead. 65, 7. The defensive coordinator was worried about this. He knows they can strike it well, and they prove it again here. The offense needs to execute on this drive if they want to start eating away at that lead. They've let the other team build up on them. The away team looking to get things going fire, from the... Fire. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Fire, fire. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Uh, Montana steps back into the pocket. Incomplete. The away team with two backs in the backfield. 
Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Bullet pass. And it's picked off by number 28. It'll be interesting to see how this quarterback bounces back after that pick. The home team has a chance to pick up some free points here after that turnover. Graham signals out to adjust the route. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Here comes the pressure. Throws a heater. He's tackled. Second down. The quarterback sees something in the defense. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Graham. Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Sings it. Number 11 makes the catch. That will move the chains. Let me tell you, Dave, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds to the offense. Check. Graham signals out to adjust the roof. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Graham drops back, rifles a pass, connects with number 11, that will bring up second down. When the pass has to get there in a hurry, the bullet is the QB's best weapon. Nice throw on the play. Graham changes the play assignments. They're changing things up at the line. Graham drops back, muscles a pass, he slams it out of the air for a touchdown. What a play, Dave. They committed to the game plan, and it pays off with points on the board. There's the kick. It's good. The home team extends their lead, 72-7. The home team is really moving out in front of this matchup. Number seven kicks a deep one into the end zone. So much of football is mental. The offense needs to get a score in this drive to build some confidence if they want any shot of coming back in this game. Check. Montana West. changes the play assignments. They're changing things up at the line. They're changing things up at the line. Montana changes the play assignments. That gets us to second down. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana changes the play assignments. Montana signals out to adjust the route. The quarterback to pass. And he goes down. Set down at the seven. That brings up a crucial third down. Third down and long. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana changes the play assignments. The running back grabs the ball out of the air. Fourth down. The quarterback sees something in the defense. They're changing things up at the line. Montana. Montana signals out to adjust the roof. Puts his arm into this one. Incomplete. 
Going for it on fourth down is always risky. That time just didn't pay off for the offense. They'll start things off from the 24. Rhea appears to be changing the play. The away team, they're changing things up at the line. Rhea changes the play assignments. Rhea adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Throws one. And it's picked off by the defense. It's hard to do, Dave, but you've got to let it go. Own the mistake and move forward. This QB is better than that one mistake. It will be interesting to see if the offense can do anything on this drive following that turnover. Omaha, the quarterback Omaha. sees something Check. in the defense. West. West. Montana. Mississippi. Montana Mississippi. adjusts Check. the assignments for one of the players. Nebraska. They're changing Nebraska. things up at the line. Uh -huh. Montana dropping back. And it's off. I used to love seeing the whiteouts look at their hands after a drop, as if the ball no, that I just no, threw them no, bit them or something. No, just just no, catch no, the check, ball. Check, Montana. Eagle, Montana. Eagle, Montana. Eagle, Montana. Adjust the assignments for one of the players. That'll give them a fresh seven downs. A fresh seven downs for the offense. No, Montana. No, Montana. No, Montana. They're changing things up at the line. Montana. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Uncorks this one. And he's brought down by number 28. And that's enough for a first down. There was a very small window that the quarterback was working with there. And he slung it in there. They're changing things up at the line. They're changing things up at the line. The home team sending pressure. Incomplete pass. As a coach, you hope your players have the ability to get past the mistakes they've made and Check execute the next North. time they're in that North. situation. North. Montana. Check 17. Montana. Montana. Short. Montana. Short. They're changing Nebraska. things up at the line. Thanks. Montana drops back, shaking off the tackler. <laughs> that will bring up first down. The away team from the gun. They're changing things up at the line. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana signals out to adjust the route. The quarterback sees something in the defense. And he goes down. Set down at the 32. That brings up second down. Montana changes the play assignments. They're changing things up at the line. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana back to pass. Third down. Montana signals out to adjust the route. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana changes the play assignments. The home team sending pressure. That'll bring up fourth down. Go. Here's the kick. And he split the uprights for three points. That's good from 53 yards out. The away team recovered some ground with that score. 72 10. The away team will recover some lost ground on that score, but they need to get their act together on all phases if they want to complete the comeback. And it's fielded safely. The onside kick is unsuccessful. The home team should focus on time of possession here. Keep the ball away from the other team. Drag this game out. Changes the play assignments. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Graham back to pass. And it's picked off by number 47. 
Witten did a fantastic job of leaving the quarterback's eye and jumping on that route. The away team may be looking to turn that turnover into some points here. Montana, Montana, Montana changes the play assignment. Uncorks this one. He can't make the catch. Second down. Montana changes the play assignment. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Uncorks this one. That brings up third down. There was a very small window that the quarterback was working with there, and he slung it in there. Montana. Montana. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Going back to pass. There's a fastball up beyond the first down. He can't bring it in. Montana from the gun. Montana changes the play assignment. The quarterback sees something in the defense. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Dropping back. He's sacked again. This one will be for a loss of 10. And just unable to make it happen there on fourth down. It's going to take multiple possessions for the defense to get back into this game. I'm expecting a lot of rooms on this drive to keep the clock moving. Check. Graham. Check. Graham changes the play assignment. Mississippi. Mississippi. Graham signals out to adjust the route. The secondary backs off into deep coverage. He drops back. He's sacked again. This one will be for a loss of 10. That brings up second down. Coming out in the gun. Mississippi. Graham. Graham. Adjust the assignments for one of the players. Check. Check. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Five. Five. Graham. Adjust the assignments Check. for one Check. of the players. They're changing things up at the line. Here comes the blitz. He launches one. He, the pass is intercepted. As the quarterback walks off, you can see the defensive players trying to pick him back up. But that one's going to affect his morale going forward. The away team will be looking to turn that turnover into some points here. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. They're changing things up at the line. They're changing things up at the line. The defense, he drops the ball. He scores. From the moment he picked up that ball, Dave, he wasn't going to be denied that touchdown. There's the kick. It's good. The home team adds to their score. 79-10. The away team would do well to really focus here. They need to execute a quick drive and score to get back into this game. The away team has a great opportunity here to build some momentum and eat away at that lead they're facing. This drive will begin from the 25. They're changing things up at the line. Montana, Montana, Montana. They're changing things up at the line. So he drops back. And he goes down. Set down at the 15. Second down and long. Montana changes the play assignment. The quarterback sees something in the defense. They're changing things up at the line. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. He's sacked again. This one will be for a loss of 10. That will bring up third down. Mississippi. The quarterback Mississippi. sees something in the defense. Check. 
They're changing things up at the Check line. 17. The quarterback Six. sees something Nebraska. in the defense. The quarterback Six. sees something in the defense. Go. Here comes the rush. And it's off. Number 89 has to make that catch, or he's going to risk the quarterback thinking he's an unreliable target. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. What is that? Montana. Montana. The quarterback sees something in the defense. The home team bringing pressure. Going for on fourth down is always risky. That time just didn't pay off for the offense. The kicker kicks it away. Number 11 catches the kickoff. Tackled after a return of 21. The away team could really use a big play here on defense. Something to spark a comeback. The home team looking to get things going from the 22-yard line. They're changing things up at the line. The quarterback sees something in the defense. He makes the screen pass near the middle of the field. And they can't connect. Incomplete. Second down. They're changing things up at the line. They're changing things up at the line. Tosses a pass. Incomplete pass. Sometimes when a team starts making mistakes, they have a hard time getting past them. And we'll see a continued trend like we have here with these drop passes. The D-line slides over. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Graham adjusts the assignments for one of the players. He tosses the screen down the middle of the field. He can't bring it in. The punt team makes its way up to the line. The punt's away. The return man takes the kick. The away team has dug themselves into quite a hole here. They've got a chance to regain some of that on this drive. The away team will start from the 28. Check. Montana North. changes Check. the play 32. assignments. 32. Montana. Montana adjusts the assignments Six. for one of the players. Check. Montana changes the play assignments. Going back to pass. Miss tackle. Incomplete pass. Second down. Check. Montana Check. signals out to adjust the route. They're changing things up at the line. The D-line slides over. Montana dropping back. Grabbed out of the air. That brings up a crucial third down. The offense with two backs in the backfield. Montana signals out to adjust a route. Montana signals out to adjust a route. Makes the throw along the sideline. And he can't reel it in. Omaha, They're changing Omaha, things up at the line. Montana. Omaha, They're changing Nebraska, things up at the line. Fire, fire. Montana changes the play assignments. Montana steps back into the... The ball is loose. Tackled. This one's going to put him in the doghouse, Dave. Might see the backup come in on those key downs going forward. The home team has a chance to pick up some free points here after that turnover. Check. Graham. Check. Graham. Adjust the assignments Check. for one of the players. Graham. Adjust the assignments for one of the players. Second and long. Fire. Graham changes the play assignments. Graham signals out to adjust a route. Check. 
Reya signals out to adjust the route. Uh -huh. Reya looking to pass. Fires one. It's caught by number 85. Third down. Let's see what the call is on third down. Reya. Reya signals out to adjust the route. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Rhea dropping back, rifles a pass. Way downfield along the sideline. He can't bring it in. There's the kick. And he split the uprights for three points. That's good from 31 yards out. The home team extends their lead, 84, 10. The defense needs to get their act together, or this game might slip out of the reach. The away team has dug themselves into quite a hole here. They've got a chance to regain some of that on this drive. Omaha, the quarterback Omaha. sees something in the defense. So he drops back. He sacked again. This one will be for the last one. The second quarter comes to an end. The home team with the edge so far. 84, 10. The kicker boots this one into the end zone. Well, we've got a report from Emma Adams down on the field. Emma, what do you have for us? Guys, I had a chance to discuss the first half with the coach for the home team. He was very pleased with his team's performance. He credited the lead to his offensive line's ability to protect the pocket and create opportunities in the run game. He stated that when you can, the kind of production out of your O-line, you can expect to be up by several scores. Montana signals out to adjust the route. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Coming with the blitz. The ball falls to the ground. Incomplete. Nebraska. They're changing things up at the line. Mississippi. Mississippi. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Throws it. Incomplete. Montana signals out to adjust the route. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana signals out to adjust the route. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana steps back into the pocket. He hurls one. A complete to number 11. Good enough for a first down. The offense took a risk going for it on fourth down and were able to move the chains. Hot short. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana back to pass. And they can't connect. Incomplete.
program. Uh, just uh, just for those of you that don't or aren't familiar with you and your work just quite yet, where can everybody find you and what exactly is it that you do for a living? Yeah, so what I do is I cover the NFL draft, the NFL draft Bible, which is on Fan Nation for the Sports Illustrated uh, Network there. Uh, you can find all my work at si.com slash NFL slash draft. A lot of scouting reports, a lot of rankings, a lot of, a lot of good articles going up. So I uh, got, got the team in place last week, getting ready for the 2023 season. They're already, I mean, I think we're up to like 200, 220 scouting reports already or something like right. that. So like we're, we're getting ready to go. Um, when do you fully transfer over from the 2021 draft and, and start to, when was that process and what, what was it like going from 2021 to the 2022 or sorry, 2022 uh, to 2023. Yeah, yeah. So it was the switch starts as soon as the uh, the UDFA mayhem stops. You know, so mm. we make the switch pretty immediately. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's it's been interesting just to see the the difference in in the classes. You know, it's always fun to see these guys jump up and everything like that. Uh, but I think this 2023 class, everyone says it, but you're gonna get a good crop of running backs, good crop of quarterbacks. It's a really good pass rush. So it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how it all plays out. Uh, yeah, so much attention on the edge and the, and the pass rushers in the 2022 NFL draft. This draft is loaded at the quarterback position. That's what everybody loves to talk about. Who do you love talking about the most already among the quarterback class for 2023? Uh, the guy I probably like talking about the most is Will Levis out of Kentucky, the Penn okay. State quarterback, or uh, the former Penn State quarterback, I should say. Uh, this this kid's got some good mobility, good you know, good, good arm talent. I like him a lot. I, I got C.J. Stroud as my quarterback one, but Will Levis, you know, I, I know a lot of people are starting to talk about him and and just take this with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. But when Joe, you know, when Joe Burrow came up, you know, no one was really talking about him, right? No, mm -hmm. and then he's he's flashing, he's doing his thing. Um, I'm not saying he's going to be Joe Burrow. I'm just saying you might start seeing that hype. And, and with, the, with the talent that he has, take that to the next level this year, you're going to start to hearing his name a lot in the first round. Is it pretty similar to the Zach Wilson situation, too, uh, who went second overall in 2021, or is it a little bit different? In a sense, but I would say Will Levis is already more talented than, than what Zach Wilson was as a okay. prospect. Okay, that's fair. That's fair, and that's a, that's a reason why you're so excited about him. Tight end wasn't exactly a, an exciting group in 2022, but it's much different in 2023, isn't it? It's it's pretty different, you know. Um, I would say it's still kind of you know iffy. If you would say, yeah. you know, I like Mike. I like Michael Mayer a lot. Uh, I think he's going to be the clear cut uh, tight end one, unless you know Jahil, uh, Jaleel Billingsley takes a big step with the with the transfer to Texas. Uh, I think the uh, that Cameron Latu out of Alabama is another solid name to watch. Eric Gilbert, of course. Uh, so definitely some good names. Oh, uh, Will Mallory too. I think I think he's going to be a solid a solid guy to watch for as well. Um, but again, it's, it's not like you're not getting like the, uh, what, what class was it? Like the Noah Fant, TJ yeah. Hawkinson type of draft. That, I mean, that was phenomenal. Those guys coming out, there was a lot of good tight ends. And, you know, I feel like we haven't really seen like a, a steady crop of tight ends come through. This is probably like, just, just looking back, you know, the last year or two, yeah, it's probably the better one out of the, out of the group. Studying so, studying so many positional groups. And quarterback is an obvious one that stands out. Is there a group that you like studying more than another? Like, is there one that stands outside of quarterbacks that maybe, you know, you're a linebacker guy or you're a corner guy? What, 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 what is that? What, what stirs your drink every day? Yeah, I mean, I, I grew up playing wide receiver. You know, I obviously wasn't good enough to get, get, get out of high school or anything like that. But I mm -hmm. love I love playing wide receiver. And I love watching the wide receivers. And then defensive ends, man, edge rushers. Man, I can't. Like, when I turn out Isaiah Foskey's tape out of Notre Dame, I mean, it just – it's like, I just didn't want to stop. It's just so much fun watching these edge rushes. <laughs> so in that note, are you a guy that's like happy about the, the shift now in the National Football League where receivers are starting to get paid big dollars right now? I mean, I think, you know, I, I go back and forth and teeter-totter on this a little bit because you look at you look at what Devontae Adams got paid, you look at what Ty, Tyree Kill got paid and all these guys, but then you look at the group of wide receivers that came in. You look at what Miami could have, could have done, or or um, you know Vegas could have done. What, what type of receivers they could have got? There was there, the group of wide receivers that came in this year was incredible. Mm -hmm. Aaron Wilson, Chris Olave. You know I could go on and on. This group of wide receivers was very very good. So it's one of those things where you know I think when you the Raiders or or the, or the Dolphins or any other team that paid their wide receivers, you look at maybe this class, this 2023 class. Right. A little, little iffy, if you ask me. So maybe, maybe, maybe. So that's why I go back and forth on it. There's so many good wide receivers that come out of college. 
but it's not always going to be great. So you got to hit that right spot of when you want to pay these guys. And I think they, I think they did it this year. I think that's what you want to do. I guess in some ways, if you're an NFL owner or general manager, it's really hard to, in some ways, justify paying a guy thirty million when he touches the ball maybe at most eight to nine times a game. Is that kind of the thought where you sit in that process? Yeah, yeah, that's that's part of it. But when you're a valuable wide receiver like a Devonta Adams yeah. man, he, he he justifies him getting paid that much just off of what he can do and what he can produce. So. Again, I go back and forth on it. I'm kind of a, you know, whatever guy. I'll look ahead to the next draft class, and if it's not as as clear cut as as this last one, I'll mm-hmm. pay my guy. Um, the transfer portal in college football has has been crazy already. There is a hub football camp coming up. How important is this hub football camp coming up on June 18th for JUCOs and the guys trying to enter for the uh, trying to, you know, enter, that are entering the transfer portal as well. It's, it's a phenomenal opportunity. So I just, inter- I'm going to have an interview coming out tomorrow with Brooklyn Hardiman, who went the Juco route, went to Northern Arizona, went to Colorado Mesa, now kind of struggling to get his way into the NFL. So he came out to the hub camp, produced, looked good. And I talked with him and I asked him, you know, going into the transfer portal, you know, how important would this have been to you if you had an opportunity like, like this? And, he, you know, he, he said something along the lines of, you know, such a great event. Like, I, yeah, I would have loved it. It would have been a great opportunity. And if you're in the transfer portal, get your reruns out there because anything you can do to network and yeah. add to your recruitment or, you know, any anything along those lines, put new film on, on, on new, new film out there in front of schools. Yeah. It's a, a fantastic opportunity. I can't wait to be down there in San Diego. I know we got a, we got some guys confirmed already. It's going to be a good crop of guys. And it's a, it's just a phenomenal opportunity. Um, you, you look at look at nil right now you look at transfer portal is kind of momentum shifting over to the college football athlete when colleges control their destiny so much in years past is it starting to come a little bit more over to the athlete now yeah yeah because again going back to my and brooklyn's conversation you know a lot of a lot of uh part of the transfer portal process or part of the recruitment process was looking at juco schools first yeah and, you know now it's more of looking at you know, the transfer portal. And actually, you know, we called up, you know, one of the guys that's going to be attending the camp and we were like, Hey, you know, I know there's that 13,000, I think it's almost up to maybe a little over 13,000 players in the portal right now. And he was like, wow, like, you know, I can't, I can't believe it. Like he had no, I no idea. So an opportunity like this to be able to show yourself and, and, um, you know, kind of give yourself the momentum to be like, okay, this is what I could do, you know, back to your point about it coming back to the athlete, here's what yeah. I can do. This is, you know, and we're, you know, they're potentially going to have some NIL deals out there eventually at some point. So yeah, it's just going to be a, a, a big thing for, for these kids to really just network themselves, show what they can do and, and get, just show schools like, Hey, you got to take me. Look at what I can do. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> and, and considering that as they're putting their bodies on the line and their futures on the line, they should have some control over where they're going or if they do, don't like their situation at a certain university or a certain coaching situation that they do have options. And I, I love that about the transfer portal. Um, Zach, you have joined us at UFFS as a scout. Uh, this, I think is around this time. So it's almost a year anniversary. I know you're early into it. You're, you're teamed up with Heatwave, one of the best teams in the UFAFL. What is your, what has your year been like with us? Second place heat wave, man. We're coming for that. We're coming for that shift next year. No, it's been it's been phenomenal. You know, it's it's. I was a little confused at first at how it all worked. It's such a big, you know, organization of, of NFL teams, basically, yeah. right? I, yeah. I'm on the I'm on the phone during the draft with with you know the owner, the GM, the uh, assistant GM, and like they're talking to me. I'm you know because I'm their scout and I'm like telling them this and that. I felt like I was in the real NFL draft, man. It was intense. It's like the, and the thing is too, I love that you guys did this because like when I was a kid, when I was like 16 years old, I'm like, all my buddies, like we got to get 32 of us. We got to do this basically same, same exact thing at a lower level. Right. Mm -hmm. And it just never kind of, you know, came together. So, you know, the fact that you guys have been able to do this, it's been successful already in year one, headed into year two, it's all kind of remained together and everything. It's, it's great, man. I love it. You already have that knowledge with you because you cover all the players. All you know, you do. You're doing your draft, but your scouting reports. That must have been so beneficial. And what what led you to the heat wave? What what got you in touch with Vin? It was just one of those things. Like you know, 
I get vibes from people. So I, I yeah. felt a good vibe when I hopped on the phone call with them. Uh, super good dude. And they, they just basically gave me an opportunity to, to join them, but be my own ent entity as well. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like, it's not a, hey, you draft, you got, you have this player, you have to give them to us. No, you can, you know, go negotiate, do your thing, whatever you need to do. And they're cool with it. You know, and they, they give me a lot of say and stuff. And they ask me about, you know, trades and, and starting, you know, who to start, everything like that. And mm -hmm. we bounce ideas back and forth. So, you know, when you're a scout, you're scouting players. You're not necessarily, you know, telling the, telling the GM, like, every instruction that he needs to do right but right. you know with them it's like a, a a great group of you know i say this he says that we all come to agreement it's it's a great great group of guys out there and i'm, I'm glad i picked it man yeah I, I can't wait to see you one day in heat wave uh gear at one, one point you need a hat or a t-shirt at some point so you can show that off or a coffee no mug. so the next no time doubt. you do an interview you can just do that yeah as i was just saying <laughs> you can get these exactly. <laughs> uh, one last one before we let you go. Uh, June 18th, of course, is our futures auction. You'll be tied up at Hub at the Hub Football Camp. Uh, will you have some input on what the Heat Wave do and um, on that big day for futures auction, the top 64, uh, 21, 22 uh, recruiting classes? Yeah, no doubt. We'll be uh, we'll be talking before I go down there. I probably won't be in the room on on June 18th. I'm going to be on the football field. Yeah. Um, again, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I, I'm in Minnesota, so I get I get to go to San Diego, beautiful San Diego. Get yes, out of the you cold do. Weather. Yes, you, know, you do. It's, pre it's pretty warm today, but uh, <laughs> no, I get 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 some beautiful San Diego weather. So I'll be hopping on a call Friday Thursday with them before I fly out Friday, and yeah, we'll get everything we'll get everything sorted out. I trust what these guys are going to do. All right, one more time, Zach. Where can everybody find you? Yeah, you can find me on Twitter at NFL underscore Zach. That's Zach with the K, the, the proper way to spell it, if you ask me. <laughs> and and uh, you can find all my work at si.com slash NFL slash draft. Again, all articles, reports, rankings. 2023 is coming. I, I counted it was 219 reports already out there. So get to know these guys. It's, uh, it's going to be a solid group of guys. Lining up for a long field goal. Hands up. And he split the uprights for three points. That's good from 61 yards out. The home team widens their lead. 96-20. This is when it's fun for an offense. You extend this lead and the game just starts to flow. The offense needs to get to work here. They've got an uphill road ahead of them to retake the lead and would do well to get things rolling now. Check. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana changes the play assignments. He rifles one. Breaking away from the defense. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. Those quick first downs like that really help the offense get into a rhythm. The away team with three receivers. Check. Montana. Check, check, They're check. changing things up at the line. Shifting their linebackers. So he drops back to pass. The ball falls to the ground. Incomplete. Montana from the gun. Montana signals out to adjust the route. He drops back to pass. Third down. Third down and long. Check. Montana changes the play assignments. Check. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Uncorks this one. And they can't connect. Incomplete. Fourth down and long. Check. The quarterback sees oh, something in the defense. Oh, Montana changes the play assignments. Five, five, Montana. Montana changes the play assignments. 
Let's stay on from the defense. The ball falls to the ground. Incomplete. They are just unable to make it happen there on fourth down. The away team could really use a big play here on defense. Something to spark a comeback. The D-line slides over. Graham with the handle. And he crosses the ball line for a touchdown. What a great run. Once he hit the secondary, he turned on the Jets and sailed in for the score. The kicker kicks it up. It's good. The home team adds another score. 20. For a defense, this becomes personal now. They're starting to put points up at will. Number seven sends this one into the end zone. The away team needs to execute on this drive if they want to start eating away at that lead they've let the other team build up on them. <laughs> Montana handing it off. Second down. Check. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Thanks. Incomplete. With the gloves these guys have today, drops should be a thing of the past. Eagle. Montana Eagle. signals Check. out to West. adjust the route. West. They're changing things up at the line. Going back to pass, finds a target out to the sideline. Fourth down. Boy, Dave, you talk about a bullet pass. That ball could have been pulled over mid-flight. Do you know how fast they were going there, son? Check. They're changing things up at the line. Check. Let's. They're changing things up at the line. They're changing things up at the line. To go back to pass. Puts his arm into this one. Short near the sideline. And it's off. Failed fourth down conversions can often be the turning point in the game. The offense couldn't get it done, and now the other team will take over on downs. The defensive line adjusts their position. Passes it to number 22, second down. Barber takes the carry. That gets us to third down. Graham is in away. That'll bring up fourth down. The offense lines up for the field goal. Number seven kicks it up. And he split the uprights for three points. That's good from 41 yards out. The home team extends their lead 20. We're now looking at a two-possession lead for the home team. It needs to be go time for the offense. They need to stop messing around. Tighten up your chin strap and get ready to drive the ball down the field. Hey. Dropping back. Finds a target. Johnson pulls it in. That will bring up second down. Shifting their linebackers. The antenna drops back. That brings up third down. Third down. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana. They're changing things up at the line. Montana signals out to adjust the route. 
Makes a hard throw. Out past the first down marker. He can't bring it in. They've lined up to go for it here on fourth down. Montana. The quarterback sees something in the defense. They're changing things up at the line. They're changing things up at the line. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana steps back into the pocket. The away team can't convert. That will be a turnover on down. The home team has built up a nice lead and should focus on extending this drive as long as possible to eat up that clock. The D-line slides over. Barber takes the handoff. Shifting their defensive line. The handoff is taken by number 22. That brings up a crucial third down. The line shifts over. Hike. Tackled near the line. That'll bring up fourth down. Hike. Number seven on the kick. It's good. They convert from 38 yards out. The home team adds another score, 20. We've talked about it a few times, Dave. They're really playing a complete game this go-round. The kicker kicks it deep. The away team needs to get something going on this drive. Shifting their linebackers over a bit. Montana drops back. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana back to pass. Incomplete. Montana looking to pass. That'll bring up fourth down. Everyone was coming up by the first down line. The only option they had was to check down for a shorter completion and hope the receiver could make a few people miss. Check. Hot, short, the quarterback short. sees something in the defense. Nebraska. Montana. Oh, they're changing things up at the line. <laughs> and he goes down. Check down at the nothing. That brings us to the end of the third quarter. The home team up so far, 20. The offense looking to get things going from the nothing yard line. The D line slides over. <laughs> Tackled near the line, back at the one yard line. That brings up second down. Second and goal for the home team. Shifting their defensive line. He makes the pitch. That brings up third down. Fire. They're calling an audible at the line. Graham is changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Barber takes the handoff. It's up. And he split the uprights for three points. That's good from 21 yards out. The home team widens the gap a bit with that score. 20. The away team needs to get their act together, or this game might slip out of their reach. 
Overall today, they've been outperformed on offense. It's time for them to buckle down and get things moving if they want any chance of turning things around. This drive will begin from the 25. Montana back to pass. Crab down in the air. Second down. The defense is just looking around at each other. Nobody was willing to risk a finger to tip that pass, I suppose. Check. Montana signals to change the play, shifting their linebackers. Oh. Montana ending it off. You see those big linemen starting to put hands on the hips, getting a bit tired of staying on the field. Nebraska. The quarterback Nebraska. sees something in the defense. Mississippi. They're Mississippi. changing things up at the line. <laughs> he rockets a pass, and he can't reel it in. The away team comes out with a single back. Dropping back. Throws a heel. The tackle is made up at the 50. First down. We see the ref checking the ball after that. Officially, he's looking at air pressure, but personally, I think he's looking for burn marks. They're changing things up at the line. Montana signals out to adjust the route. Throws out to the side. That will bring up second down. That ball was really slow in there, Dave. The receiver did a great job holding on to it for the catch. Check. Montana. Eagle. Eagle. Montana. Signals out to adjust the route. He launches one. And they can't connect. Incomplete. A crucial third down for the offense. Check. Montana, Check. West. they're changing West. things Check. up at the West. line. West. They're changing Six. things up at the Six. line. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. <laughs> Tosses a pass, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Coming out in the gun. Check. Montana signals out to adjust the route. They're changing things up at the line. Montana. Montana signals out to adjust the route. Hike. And he goes down. Set down at the 46 in the line. The home team will begin the drive from the 46. Pitches it out to number 22. Two tight ends for the home team. The line shifts over. He hands it off. That gets us to third down. Third down. Graham with the handball. That'll bring up fourth down. A conservative run call on third and long. You don't want to unnecessarily take any risks there and end up in a situation that's difficult to recover from. The kick is up. And he split the uprights for three points. That's good from 64 yards out. The home team widens their lead. 20. The home team moves firmly into control of this matchup with their two-possession lead. The away team needs to execute on this drive if they want to start eating away at that lead they've let the other team build up on them. Hot short. They're changing short. things up at the line. Dropping back. Throws a pass. First down. Boy, Dave, you talk about a bullet pass. That ball could have been pulled over mid-flight. Do you know how fast you were going there, son? Coming with pressure, makes the throw over the right flat. That ball was really slung in there, Dave. The receiver did a great job holding on to it for the catch. 
Three wide receivers for the away team. Check West. They're changing West. things up at the line. The home team brings a blitz. Johnson makes a nice catch. Boy, Dave, you talk about a bullet pass. That ball could have been pulled over mid-flight. Do you know how fast you were going there, son? Hot six, Montana six, adjusts six, the assignments six. for one of the players. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Ten. Montana steps back into the pocket. Out by number 89. Good enough for a first down. Tight end on the right side. Check. Montana West. changes the play assignments. Mississippi. The quarterback sees something in the defense. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. That will bring up second down. Montana from the gun. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana changes the play assignments. He steps back to pass. Come lead to number 14. That brings up a crucial third down. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana, they're changing things up at the line. Montana drops back. He makes the throw. The tackle is made up at the 24 yard line. That'll bring up fourth down. Nebraska. The quarterback Nebraska. sees something in the defense. Throws a fastball. He can't bring it in. The away team can't convert. That will be a turnover on down. It's going to take multiple possessions for the defense to get back into this game. I'm expecting a lot of runs on this drive to keep the clock moving. The home team is really having a hard time holding on to the ball today with these passes. He hands it to number 22. <laughs> Graham makes the pitch. That brings up a crucial third down. Third down and long. He makes the handoff. That's a safe play on third down. When you've got a long way to go, sometimes you're better off just picking up a few yards and kicking it. Number two on the punt. The kick is caught at the 19. The away team has dug themselves into quite a hole here. They've got a chance to regain some of that on this drive. Check 17, Montana 17, signals check out West, to adjust the route. Mississippi, Montana, Mississippi, check, they're changing five, things up at the line. Five, Montana five, changes the play assignments. Incomplete pass. As a QB, your guys have to help you out. Sure, bad throws happen, but when it hits Hot your six, hands, you six, have to make the five, play. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana changes the play assignments. Montana looking to pass. He throws one. He stopped. This defense is going to have to get its assignments in order. If not, they can expect to give up yardage all day. The linebackers adjust their positions. Montana changes the play assignments. Montana drops back. Fires a rock past the first down marker. And he misses his mark. Second down for the away team. Montana changes the play assignments. He fires a pass. And it's caught for a touchdown. That was a great call by the coach and great execution by the players. Go. The kick is up. And he 
That's good. The away team reclaims some lost ground. 27. That score is a good start, but they're going to get their defense on the same page if they want to get back into this game. The offense needs to just play it safe here and focus on keeping the ball in their possession as long as possible. The D-line adjusts their position. The handoff is taken by number 22, second down. Second down. Graham with the handoff. That will bring up third down. Barber takes the carry. That'll bring up fourth down. The punt's away. The punt will sail into the end zone. Touchback. Overall today, they've been outperformed on offense. It's time for them to buckle down and get things and moving if they want any chance of six, turning things around. Six. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. He drops back to pass. Second down. The quarterback sees something in the defense. They're changing things up at the line. Montana signals out to adjust the route. He can't bring it in. The other assistant coaches are starting to give the whiteout coach some heat on the sidelines. He really needs his guys to pick it up. Montana adjusts the assignments for one of the players. Montana signals out to adjust the route. Montana had to pass. He hurls one way downfield. Incomplete pass. The away team from the gun. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana. Montana changes the play assignments. Montana signals out to adjust the route. The home team brings a blitz. Incomplete pass. That's a tough break for the offense, but it's simply the nature of going for it on fourth down. Shifting their defensive line. Hands it to number 22. The D-line adjusts their position. Graham ending it off. That brings up third down. Graham ending it off. That'll bring up fourth down. The offense was expecting heavy pass coverage over the top and wisely ran the ball to pick up a few yards. Number seven makes the kick, and he's good from 31 yards out. The home team widens their lead, 27.
The defensive coordinator was worried about this. He knows they can strike at will, and they prove it again here. The kick sails deep. The away team needs to get something going on this drive. The away team starts the drive from the Check. Montana. West. Adjust the assignments East. for one of the players. Right. Montana. Adjust the assignments for one of the players. Second down. Certain QBs, Dave, you can actually hear the ball being released. And I think this is one of those guys. He just shot the ball into the wideout. Montana changes the play assignments. Blitz coming on from the defense. He can't make the catch. Check. Montana signals out to adjust the route. Right. back to pass. Heaves a pass deep over the top to the middle of the field. That will bring up first down. The away team uses their first time out. The quarterback sees something in the defense. Montana changes the play assignments. Broken tackle. Forced out of bounds. Up at the nine. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. Those quick first downs like that really help the offense get into a rhythm. West, Montana West. adjusts the assignments Nebraska, for one of the players. Nebraska. The quarterback Check. sees something in the defense. Montana signals out to adjust the route. Coming with the blitz. And he steps in for six. Touchdown. That's a great example of a player just stepping up and making a play to get a touchdown. The home team takes their first time out. Number 38 on the carry. The away team is unable to convert. That brings it into the game. And time for us to take a look at the Mike Steele.